Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Adam back here, and today I have my 212th showcase video. I will be doing these reviews one at a time, and let's get right into it. So, these are the first two figures. Um, I will only be doing these two, um, not one at a time, because they're both the same trooper, pretty much. This one's the Heavy Gunner. And this is a regular 212 Trooper. These figures came out really well. I absolutely love them. And, yeah, so, um, the, they're, I'll show you the differences in a minute. But, I gave this one a long blaster. And he's got a orange Chester's paint, um, painting all over his body. I believe the tester's paint is called orange gloss so if you want this paint um, that's what it's called i gave him a neck guard looks better i figured i would do it since i this is my first showcase video and yeah so he also has this custom color that i made um i mixed white and black and i made this dark gray color and i painted over the um, the previous lines, if you see what I'm talking about, I did this with all of them. See these things, these gray things. Yeah, I painted over those, which is, turned out pretty good. Um, they both have the same chest painting and, uh, four little pieces of plastic type material on their chest. Uh, all the arms, legs are fully movable. And yeah, they also have back the tanks, both of them, and painting on the back. But the difference is between these two is of course that he has a minigun. But the only other difference is that he has a backpack. Which if you can see I used I stacked with a uh, different plastic on each other. To create that backpack, then I made a triangle like shape on uh, out of a square, and I cut out that and I glued it on. And then he has some orange paint going across that. So yeah, he both of the figures have white painting on the bottom two pieces and white with an orange stripe on the top shoulder pad. Uh, yeah, so they also have fabric on the legs and um, orange knee pads. These figures look great. And now on to the next. So this is the next one. I actually know that I said next two, but forgot that I was doing them by ones uh, for these last three minifigures, which are obviously Waxer, Boyle, and Cody. So these figure, this one has the same basic helmet things going on that the other troopers had they have that dark gray custom color and painted over the gray stripe on the helmet he has uh, orange on the side of his helmet which actually I don't believe he had in the on the actual figure but I kind of wanted to make waxer and Boyle look alike kind of so yeah but anyway his helmet again he has a neck guard his helmet is painted with a big stripe of orange usually the stripe isn't that big but it makes the figure stand out a little bit more and i wanted to make mine a little different because if you make it like everybody else has it's not very fun so then he has 10 tally marks they're a bit bigger than i wanted but um i noticed that I just wanted to have proportion, and he didn't have that many uh, marks on his helmet, so I wanted to make him as big, or bigger. And so he has white and the orange stripe going down, and he also, I gave him a basic clone blaster, and what else? Um, he has a same design over here, a back to tank. Uh, for that extra little bit of detail 
and he actually does not have the little orange side things he only has the top uh, triangle shape um, but he also has the four pieces of plastic then he has the white uh, knee pads with the orange uh, the black fabric underneath so yeah um, on to the next minifigure which is so Boyle. like I said this is Boyle he is very similar to Waxer in basic design but a little bit different he obviously served by Waxer's side and um, you didn't watch the Ryloth episodes and then in, he wore his phase 2 armor in the Umbara so yeah um, his helmet is kind of like I wanted to have it more of a battle damage effect since he actually kind of got more time and war than Waxer um, he lived longer too Waxer died in season 4 and I believe Boyle is actually around till like season 5 or 6 I don't know what happened to him but he has an orange stripe across um, orange on the sides and then that custom black color then he has the black I'm not sure what it is it looks like a bird type thing but then he has a red stripe he also has a neck guard which as you can see then he has white and then white and orange stripe on the top like all the other figures I believe they all have that um, maybe not Cody I'm not sure um, but yeah he has the four pieces of plastic with the black stripe going across the top he has a red top triangle thing then he has two or er, not a red or an orange detailing on the body and yeah he also has a back to tank I use toothpicks for all the back to tanks I used to use the handles of guns but those look a little too like chubby uh, <laughs> Uh, you'll know what I mean if you watch some of my other videos, but uh, He also has two knee pads with the orange on the like the other ones and black fabric underneath So I know these reviews are pretty quick But next is the one and only Commander Cody. So last but not least it is obviously Commander Cody if you can't tell already this figure absolutely came out gorgeous. I love this figure. Um, I had to wait until today to put the visor on because I didn't have the right, I didn't have any and I know he has a visor. That's like one of his trademark things. And yeah, so I could have like glued on a Clone Army Customs one or something or made my own, but I not very experienced with visors and I didn't want to risk ruining the figure so I decided to go to safe fruit and I painted this with a different orange I painted it with an apple barrel orange um, I believe it is a little bit better it still looks amazing and so his helmet it's the same with the dark gray and the white then he's got the little specs on his helmet down there and then he's got uh, an orange line going across the top looks very clean and then a fin is cut or er, is painted then he also has the um, visor like I said is painted with an apple barrel orange um, I actually kind of like it that way if I use a testers paint it wouldn't have worked testers is not good for like on um, like on co stuff that is colored and dark because it you have to use a lot of it to make it work but um, Commander Cody is a little different he has orange shoulder pads instead of the stripe with the white but he still has white um, armor on the bottom part on the bottom pieces and he also has a back tank like the others he didn't really have any back detailing and I could have added the antenna over here on his arm but um, I'm going to be selling these and I was thinking I probably should make multiple of these Commander Cody's for you guys because I know he's a lot of people's favorite minifigure. 
but um, he, I didn't want to do that because it's very likely it would get damaged in while well, shipping or something. Uh, so yeah, but he also has the. Um, this is not very surprising, but he has the uh, chest detailing with the three stripes of orange on his chest. And he's got the left pocket is orange and the th three um, on the right are white with a black stripe going across the top. He also has white knee pads with black fabric, obviously. Then I added this not too long ago, um, this little stripe on his leg. Uh, so yeah. Overall, uh, these figures turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to uh, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I just had my first video hit a thousand views. It's the How to Make a Clone Trooper. So thank you for um, for viewing that. And I know you guys want to make customs just like this. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.